Hello students. So today I am going to talk about the modified Raoult's law. We have already discussed the Raoult's law. So we know that what is Raoult's law? Raoult's law is Pi bar which is the partial molar pressure of component I is equals to Xi Pi S. Right? And this is the vapor pressure of ideal gas or gas or this is the partial pressure. Okay, so today I am going to talk about the uh, modified Raoult's law. So at low pressure, the fugacity coefficient of components in the vapor phase is near 1. Therefore, the non-ideality of the liquid phase only considered and the phase equilibrium equation of component I becomes y i p is equals to x i gamma i f i. And we know that, that when pressure is very small and near uh, vapor pressure of pure component, then uh, fugacity of component I is equals to P I S, right? So, we can substitute here, uh, here with this. So, by I P is equals to X I gamma I P I saturated, okay? So, uh, this is your modified Raoult's law. Modified Raoult's law you can uh, you can use to find out the uh, vapor phase composition, total pressure and liquid phase composition, right? So, when uh, liquid phase composition are given, that means when, let's consider the first case, when liquid phase composition is given. So, consider that uh, temperature and liquid phase composition are known. So, temperature and x of component I are given. Right? And uh, uh, the activity coefficient uh, uh, activity coefficient are also available at this given temperature. So, uh, system pressure and vapor phase composition so, we need to find out the pressure, right? And vapor composition means yi, we need to find out. Pressure you can find by xi because activity uh, parameters are known, activity coefficient is given. So, if this there is a uh, binary solution, then x1 gamma1 p1s plus x2 gamma2 p2s, right? And uh, uh, this is this is how you can calculate the total pressure and vapor composition you can find out by y1 x1 gamma1 p1 saturated upon p so and y2 similarly you can find out y2 also x2 gamma2 p2s upon p so p1s and p2s are the vapor pressure of uh, of component 1, x1 and x2 are the uh, um, composition in the liquid phase and gamma1 and gamma2 are the activity coefficients, right? And P is the total pressure. So, if the temperature and uh, uh, mole fraction in liquid phase are given, then you can find out P and Yi. And this P1s and P2s, you can determine by using uh, relationship between uh, vapor pressure and temperature by the uh, which is given by the Antoine equation. So, Antoine equation and which is ln P saturated A minus B upon T plus C. So, A, B, C are the constants and the value of A, these constants for individual components are given. T is the temperature. So, with the help of this, you can find out P, S. Uh, for component for any component right and then you can substitute this p1s and p2s into uh, total pressure equation then you can get the value of total p and then easily you can find out the vapor composition similarly if uh, vapor phase composition is given And temperature is given and temperature is given right then you can find out 
वन बाय पी बाय वन पी वन सैचुरेटेड प्लस वाई टू गामा टू पी टू सैचुरेटेड सो दे आर आर टू टर्म्स नॉट नोन लिक्विड फेस कंपोजिशन एंड सिस्टम प्रेशर पी वी नीड टू अप्लाई एट्रेटिव प्रोसीजर इज नीडेड टू सॉल्व दिस दिस इक्वेशन टू सॉल्व दिस इक्वेशन एंड लिक्विड फेस कंपोजिशन इज नीडेड टू कैलकुलेट द एक्टिविटी कोफिशेंट इफ प्रेशर इज प्रेशर एंड वेपर फेस कंपोजिशन दैट मीन्स कैपिटल पी एंड वेपर फेस कंपोजिशन आर गिवन that means uh, that means capital p and yi is given then p1s plus y2 gamma 2 p2s so there are two unknowns in in the uh, in this equation so you can see there are two unknowns liquid phase composition and temperature activity coefficients depends on uh, temperature and liquid phase composition and vapor pressure depend on temperature again uh, here again we need to apply the iterative uh, procedure trial and error method or iterative position is uh, is needed to uh, solve this equation so it's two conditions uh, if vapor phase composition and temperature are known or if pressure and vapor phase composition are known then to find out the uh, other composition that means here we need to find out uh, x right here we need to find out the liquid phase composition here also then we need to apply the iterative methods or trial and error method or iterative methods to solve the numerical problems based on such conditions so in the next video we will solve some numerical problems based on modified raoult's law raoult's law and antoine equation for vapor liquid equilibrium so that aap uh, easily understand kar paoge ki kaise questions ko solve karna hai and kaise ye equations ko apply karna hai okay and these questions are very important from uh, university point of view or for graduation and post graduation point of view